We're playing around with notebooks today in Microsoft Fabric. We're going to bring data in from our data warehouse. We're going to explore it in our notebook, and then we're going to create a result set that we write to our lake house from a notebook. Next on Tales from the Field. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. If this is your first time making it over to Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Tuesday, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content created by the Azure Data Community for the Azure Data Community. Then on Mondays and on Wednesdays, we have our MS Tech Bits, where we drop information that we learned in working with customers, working with product groups, anything we've gathered here at Microsoft to help you. This is one of those right now. Now let's get over to that great content. I'm in my Azure Fabric workspace and I'm going to go to the lake house. We're going to start there. And then at the lake house, I'm going to open up a notebook and I'm going to select a new notebook. Now this is going to load my tables. And the first thing I want to do is I want to open up my team data box course. And I want to show you how easy it is to be able to load a data frame. We've gone through this before, but it always loads with a limit of 1000. I don't want that limit. I'm going to only show five rows, so I'm going to change the syntax slightly for my data frame show. Then I'm going to execute it because I need to load this entire table into my data frame so that way we can utilize this. And the reason is I want to figure out the best day of the week to see the Cubs play. That's that's my goal, pure and simple. I'm a Cubs fan, long-suffering Cubs fan, love the Cubs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import Numpy and Pandas and some PySpark SQL functionality. And I'm going to create a data frame where I can get all the wins for the Chicago Cubs. You can see I'm using my data filter right there. And sure enough, here we go. Day of the week, the Cubs, and I've got their wins. If I need their wins, I also need their losses, right? So we're going to go and we're going to pull from our data frame, which again, our team box scores, and I'm going to get their losses. Okay. Now that I have their losses, what I need to do is I need to combine the wins and the losses so I can start to look at this a little more closely. Uh, this would be data exploration, right? So I've got wins, I've got losses. You know what I'd really like to do? I'd like to get more of an idea of what my win-loss ratio is. So first, I'm going to need the total games. And so I'm going to add together the wins and losses to be able to get a total games column. And once that happens, then I'll be able to start getting some additional data. So I've got the total number of games. Now I can figure out what my win and loss percentage is by dividing that multiplying by 100 to get a percentage. And if I look at this, I can see it's what I've suspected as a Cubs fan. I love the Cubs more than anything, but in the history of the Cubs, we have lost more than we have won just about every day of the week. But you know, if I really want to do this right, what I need to do is I need to turn this into a function. So I'm going to create a function. It's going to run in a second, but this is the way I should be using this in Spark is I should create a function that has that wins functionality, that losses, and then brings everything together in totals. Once I have that, I should be able to do, I have a data frame I could create called test using this function when to attend. And I'm going to pass through the Cubs and then we're going to display this. And this should look like exactly what our previous output was. And we've got the data. The numbers didn't change, but I've got my win percentage, my loss percentage. Now let's test this real quick. Uh, my, I've got a lot of good friends and family who love the Boston Red Sox. So I'm going to look at the Boston Red Sox real quick because I can commiserate with them. They took almost 100 years and they are much better than the Cubs. Look at that. They have a win percentage uh, for every day of the week. They're over 50%. But while I think about this, I need to get more granular. So what I need to do is I need to understand the when I need to attend, but I need to look at wins. I need to look at losses. I need to make it more granular, but I also need to do home games versus away games. Um, and I need to be able to do this in such a way that I can extract this data and uh, data exploration, play around with it a little bit more in Power BI. Then I need to have their away games. So I've got their home. I've got their away games. I've got the same functions. Now that I've got those two functions, I can create two data frames, home and away, and combine them and when to attend. And the way that I fill these two is just by specifying a function. And so when to attend is going to equal my data frame home, and I want to union that with my data frame away. And that should give me all of this functionality. Now, I want to show about five rows of this. There's going to be a lot of rows in this table when this comes back. There we go. That's the functionality I'm looking at. Very granular per year. By day of the week, 
I now have the win loss percentage. And now I can write this out to a table, which is incredibly important. I do my data frame dot write format delta because delta is what we're storing this in in fabric. I'm going to save to my tables when to attend. This is going to run incredibly quick. This used to when I would do this in other services, this would take, you know, minutes to occur. And now I come and I refresh. And then in my lake house, I have when to attend. Let's go over to that lake house and let's take a look at the preview. Uh, just take a look at the preview of the data. And there I can see is all of my data. Now, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. I'm going to go back to my notebook because this is great. I got this constructed. I'm going to use this again. I may demo this at a conference at some point in time. If I get new data, I might want to load it. But I hit that gear and I'm going to change the name to when to attend. I don't have to hit a save function. It just will automatically change that name. And also in the edit ribbon, I can clear my output so I can run this again without the results in there. A lot of great stuff that we've got. All right, so now I'm over in Power BI. And what I want to do is I've ingested my data. I've created some measures and some relationships in the background, but I've selected the Chicago Cubs. And what I can do is I can start looking at the day of the week. So Thursday, I've got a 63% chance. Let's make this more in the modern era of baseball. Take it up to say like 1997. Um, and then I can see I've got a couple changes here. And then I can also change this to home games because what I'd like to do, I'd like to go to Wrigley Field, home of the Cubs, like the cathedral, right? I've got a sort order of the visiting teams and my win percentage against them. So it looks like Saturday, I've got 63%. Tuesday, I've got 63%. And Sunday, I've got 63%. So these are very important for me to realize probably cheaper for me to get a flight on a Tuesday, right? And if I look at my opponents, I can also see how that's ranked. But now let's look at away games. What if I'm traveling and I want to see the Cubs in a city other than um, than Chicago? Let, let me sort my opponents then and let me look at my win percentages. Saturday doesn't look great. Thursday, 62%. Um, let's see, Monday, 61. So it looks like Thursday, if we've got a record above 500, and it looks like if we're doing interleague play, if we're playing at Anaheim or Boston. So what did we learn? We learned a lot, right? You probably learned more about the Chicago Cubs than you ever thought that you would know before in your life. You're welcome. But we also learned that it is so easy to be able to take our data from a lake house um, and be able to ingest it into Spark to be able to create an entirely new table based off the data that we have and then use that. I loaded that into Power BI and then I can visualize this. The key thing here is if we forgot about technology for 10 seconds, it helps us use our imagination and realize that there is a world of possibilities sitting in front of us with fabric. So. You know where we like to keep this going down in the comments did you like what you saw curious about anything else would you like us to dive a little bit deeper we'd love to hear from you all right take care of one another out there and thank you so much for joining us on tales from the field you control Bye. and the steps you take them i try to pick one thought have some concentration and if i make them